No churn, strawberry ripple vanilla ice cream. Come on! Okay, so here we've got some beautiful strawberries. They're really good right now. British strawberries, I am biased of course, but they are uniquely known for being utterly delicious. Why? Well, because they get ripe quite slowly, they develop more flavour and more sweetness. So, you know, you're going to find them more tasty, generally speaking, than some of the hotter climates. Um, what I've done is I've got 600 grams of beautiful strawberries here. I've just hulled them, so just remove the little green top, and then what I've done is give them a little wash. I've got 100 grams of white simple sugar. So I'm going to put that into a pan and make a little bit of a caramel. So if you look in the pan here, it will pretty quickly start turning to caramel. Obviously, when you're making things like caramel, don't have kids running around the place. It's really hot. Don't put your finger in because it's way hotter than boiling water, right? And it will stick to you, right? So as delicious as it is, keep your fingers away. One other little thing you could do if you're feeling fruity, I'm not going to do it today because I want it to be a family-friendly affair, but a little swig of white wine or swig of pims, pims and strawberry at this time of year. Wimbledon is quite nice. So you can kind of theme flavours a little bit and have some fun. So with the strawberries, I just tend to cut them in half. By the way, you can use raspberry, you could use blackberry, mulberry, blueberry, cherries are very good, apricots are amazing, peach is amazing. So this technique that I'm giving you, you can use for many, many recipes. So it's a very quick, malleable, flexible recipe. So, have a little look. Good things are happening there, tigers. So you can see the pan getting hot. You can see we've achieved that little bit of colour. Now we'll carefully go in with the strawberries. Like that. And we'll very quickly turn that into a simple sauce. So the heat of the pan and the caramel has created a lot of heat. So that's going to stew down the strawberries very quickly. So about five minutes on a high heat is really all you need. So this has had five minutes, it's stewed down beautifully, gas off, and I'm just going to put it through a coarse sieve, right? So not a fine sieve, a coarse sieve. And you're going to get just a really simple, really beautiful strawberry sauce. And the flavours will be amazing. So I have a little tip for a secret slap of flavour. And if you want to, just put a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar in these strawberries when they're simmering down. And I know it sounds weird, but balsamic vinegar and that acidity and sweetness work incredibly well to make the sauce even more delicious and bonkers. Once you've pushed the strawberries through the sieve, scrape it all off on the bottom, you've got a nice, thick, rich, perfect expression of seasonal strawberries. So it couldn't be simpler. Into a bowl, add 600 grams of double cream. Nice organic double cream is what I would suggest with a teaspoon of vanilla paste. Or you could use a vanilla pod if you wish. Just a little teaspoon. So we'll whisk that up and it's going to thicken. So we want very soft peaks, which I'll show you what it looks like. Now a lot of people when they're whisking get quite tired. So you can see my hands doing this movement at the moment. And when it naturally gets tired, then I can change the angle and start doing it with the wrist. I can feel it getting thicker now. So look, that is soft peaks, right? It's doing that, beautiful. So into here, we're going from gorgeous cream to condensed milk, <laughs> old school. So a tin of condensed milk, it reminds me of my nan. And it's got a natural sweetness because we've concentrated it down. Um, and that sweetness is what kind of helps this no-churn ice cream not go too icy. So it's a lovely cheat, and that condensed milk gives you this outrageously kind of dynamic twist on dairy. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to fold this up like that. Look at this. Fold it through. And then I've got some beautiful meringues here, 50 grams. You can get these in all the supermarkets. You can get them pre-made. By all means, make your own. I'm going to crush up one and put it through it. I might go now from whisk to a little spatula, and I'm going to fold it through like that. 
and then I'm going to go straight into this little dish. So you can go into any kind of nice dish that you'd be proud to serve it on in the middle of the table. I'm going to take a little bit of that lovely sauce and just steal some for a nice little strawberry sauce that I can pour over at the end. This part here, I'm just going to put most of it into the ice cream with other chunks of the meringue. Imagine that. Ripples of the ice cream with the vanilla. Just kind of move it. Can you see I'm just moving it around now like this, doing that lovely ripple. And I don't want to kind of mix it up properly, right? So that for me is looking pretty exciting. I'm going to put that last bit of sauce on the top. Oh, it smells amazing. Look at that. Just beautiful. So, put this in the freezer now for about four hours until it's nice and firm. But you can keep it in the freezer for like six weeks, two months. But then when you want it, put it in the fridge. This has been in the fridge for about 45 minutes. This is one I made earlier. So by letting it defrost in the fridge, it's nice and even. It's a nice texture, it's very scoopable. If you just bring it outside, it might start sort of defrosting too much at the sides and becomes a little bit sort of liquidy and slops all about. You don't want that. So the fridge is good, half an hour to an hour. And then what I've got is some boiling water, a spoon or an ice cream scoop, and then serve it however you want. Imagine this with a lovely apple pie. Imagine this just in a bowl or in a cone. Really, really nice. I've got a few little bits here that you can do to make it all nice. Get yourself a hot spoon. Look at that, look at the ball. Come on. So you can see how good this is. Come on. That is my super easy, no churn, strawberry, vanilla and meringue ice cream. Have a try. Mm. Oh, it is like strawberries in the most beautiful way, intense, delicious. The ripple is like so nice through the rich vanilla ice cream. The cream's so gorgeous, but that condensed milk gives it a sort of slightly naughty old school retro twist. So if you want this recipe and loads more recipes, simply go to jamieoliver.com and it's all there. Videos, hacks, recipes galore and it's all free. What are you waiting for?